It's man. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to my gaming channel. Episode of forcing my friends to do videos with me because we're in quarantine and we have nothing better to do. Um, we were at Target for an hour and a half yesterday and she showed me this and I put it in the cart without hesitation so that we could film this video here today. <laughs> I literally just said, oh look, it's the shining board. And I was like, I have no idea what this is, but it's a shining board game and we needed at least three people, so... Okay, we, I literally have no idea. Fair. We're gonna have to actually read the instructions, which is like disgusting. Um, you didn't read it before? Mm -hmm. Look pretty! Wow. What a professional! Wow, a hand shot. We have lots of things here that we're gonna need to figure out how they work. Uh, pick a color on purple. Fucking sucks for you if you want to be purple. I'm white because I'm missing privilege. There you go. <laughs> I'm blue, that one either. <laughs> Thank you. Proceed. Um, anyway, we have these three. What the fuck is this? It's literally just a red square. I don't know what that means. Um. If you read it. Well, shut the fuck up, Diego. No one asked for your fucking opinion. Um, wow, we have tokens. We have... Shut the fuck up. Turn off your phone notifications. This is very important. What was my phone? Is this her <laughs> phone? Excuse me? Like, I'm offended right now. It's like professional bitch. filming like... matter. Oh my god, this is so much. Oh my god, Becky. Why didn't I read this? <laughs> Alright! The Overlook yeah. Hotel has closed for the winter. You and your friends have traveled deep into the Rocky Mountains to serve as caretakers for the next several months. <laughs> Not Trouble is many unspeakable tragedies have occurred in the hotel, but we know this shit. Where are the instructions? When you discover the radio has been sabotaged for the worst, one of you has already fallen victim to the hotel. Can you muster enough? Okay, yeah, whatever. It's the overlook. I thought that was important, but apparently. Place the board within easy reach of all players. Done. Shuffle the Shining and Event deck separately. Okay, this is the Shining deck. Create the Willpower Pool. Randomly draw 13 Willpower tokens per player and place them face down. Okay, so pick 13 of these randomly. What the fuck is this? Why is it the same on both sides? No, I don't fucking know. I think these are different. Okay. So, the heart. Place one Willpower token drawn from the pool face up onto each of the spaces marked with a solid circle on the ground yeah, floor more. locations. Wait, on each of them? Or just exactly. one per section? No, it said all of it. Wait, one willpower token drawn from the pool face up onto each of the spaces marked with a solid circle on the ground floor locations. Yep. In a four-player game, fill the extra space in the Okay, okay so, they, so yeah, we, we're good. Okay. Uh, each player chooses a mover and places it in the office. Where's the office? Here's wow. Everyone, everyone look at the camera like they're in the office. Trash show. You're gonna get attacked. No. That's true. You're gonna, I mean, I don't like it either, but... <laughs> yeah. You can't cancel us, it's fine. It's Honestly, you cancel us forward to cancel anyone. Okay. Randomly determine the first player and give them the room 237 first player keychain. No! I knew the keychain <laughs> came No! My keychain! <laughs> Tokens from the hotel locations and the willpower pool to avoid becoming possessed and attacking other players. The 
The number on each token represents the willpower gained. If the total value of the willpower tokens you collect, this is math, I don't like this. You collect in one Math? <laughs> equals or exceeds the value of your combined shining cards, you will overcome the visions this month. Some willpower tokens have an additional effect. The whiskey tokens, which are those, uh, provide willpower equal to the total number of whiskey tokens you collected. Example, one whiskey token is worth one willpower, two is worth, okay, whatever. Uh, these tokens have high willpower value but are risky to take. They may make you more dangerous during the shining phase. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> shining cards. So shining cards represent the horrible visions of the past you witness of the Overlook. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, I, I hope I get the one that I like. Which one? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. Is it the bear guy? No. <laughs> that's my least favorite. I, I always forget that it's there, so every time I see it in the movie, I'm just like, what the uh, It always ca catches me off guard. I'm just like, yeah. What, back, what's the correlation? <laughs> like, I don't know, what's a good BG? <laughs> the back of each card shows a number range. <laughs> <laughs> There's just three through five, a number in this range is printed on the front of the card, but remains hidden until the shining phase. What? Why did I just find a fortune? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? That's mine. Wait. A small house. That's a lot of math. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Health tokens represent your physical stamina. Health can be lost when a possessed player attacks another player. When using the elevator, oh, or when moving to a distant location after the, the one elevator. Ooh. Hey. Uh, roll cards, corrupted variant only. Roll cards are dealt at the beginning of the game. One player will play as the corrupted, and the others will play corrupt cooperatively as the caretaker. Oh, what? What? Are these all the same? Yeah, they're all caretakers. We're all ca oh, caretakers. Shit, okay, so somebody has to- wait, are we all caretakers or does somebody have to be corrupted? Everyone is a caretaker. Oh, really? Okay. Someone has to be corrupted though. Someone does have to be corrupted. The, read it. <laughs> wait. Roll cards? Hold on. Wait, oh, say yeah. something about that here. Because we're all caretakers. Okay. Okay. So do we want to do a corrupted person to start? I don't know how this works. Or do we just want to do caretakers? Like, why are you like asking Eventually her? Eventually we'll get possessed. Like, like why are you asking her? You're the one reading the- No, but like, it's just like, game, there are two versions. Hush, it's moral support. <laughs> moral support. There. Each month contains either two or three rounds. The round consists of each player taking one turn. The first player with the real turn 37 keychain finds it out. TMC. Wow. <laughs> takes the top card from the event deck and reads it aloud before placing it face up Did for all the players to see. Magic. Move all players to the gold room. Okay. Um, scoop. Scoop. Move all players to. It just English motherfucker. No, it just says that. It. No, it just says that a bunch of times. It's like the typewriter joke. Oh god. <laughs> That's amazing. They didn't really. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> they do that with the instructions. Yeah, like the instructions are like that. Oh my freaking god. It says That's the, kind of amazing. the dull boy one. Yeah. Like, oh. The actual thing that's oh, on the typewriter. Uh, yeah, so just as move all players of the Lord of a billion times. Okay, cool. Okay, so what do these mean? Take the highest token from those available, but what is that? Highest token is that one? No, but the those available per rim. Like, there are these. Oh, that one? Yeah, but wait. What? Confusion. First player, and trigger different effects of the hotel, they also determine the number of rooms. What? Starting with the first player, and continuing clockwise, each player moves and takes room actions to collect, but there's no room action that just said move to the gold room. Alright, hold on, yeah, you read it. Some of them going on. Like, if I've ever understood instructions. Okay, well, what, do I do anything in the gold room? No, you already did. You moved us. You moved us, and that's, yes, that's what it that's is. That's the action. Okay. Moving. You must move to a new location on your turn, okay? You may not stay where you are. Oh. Movements take place through hallways, up, down, stairs, or using the elevator. Hold on, I'm gonna look at these and see if they're all like that. See, this is move all players in Colorado room. Room, two, room 30, 237 may not be entered this round. The stairs may not be used this round. Choose one player to draw a shining card. The caretaker's apartment may not be entered this round. Remove one willpower token from the pool for each weapon token. The stairs may not be used this round. And this is the third event card and round and immediately proceed to the shining phase. Okay, so they are different. I think this video is Moving more like a try to understand the game. And that's than okay. Than the shining phase? What the hell? That's like when we're crazy. <laughs> Crazy. 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 Okay, well this is take the highest token from those available, right? But there are three of us. Oh, so am I supposed to take the highest? Because I technically moved this there. I think so. So do I take three? Yes. 
Starting call this not game. knowing how to play the Shining game for 20 minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, why you didn't need to read it before. <laughs> because this is quality content. If we do how to play it, that wouldn't be any fun. No. Not a playthrough. It's not a playthrough. People don't watch my channel for good content. Hold up. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Alright. Okay. The first player, obviously Alina, with the room key, takes the top card from the event deck and reads it out loud before placing it face up for all players to see. An event's effect is active for one round only. Starting with the first player and continuing clockwise, each player moves and takes room actions to collect willpower from the board and the pool. Wait, All right. So can I, was can I make this more fun? Can we use these as the game? Get the game movers instead. <laughs> like use these as our little game movers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Will they fit? Wow. God damn. Right. Who wants to be? I want to be Wendy. Uh, I don't shit. I'll be the asshole kid. Wow. <laughs> I'll be the asshole. How come he doesn't have one? Because he has the only the girls have them because fuck those sexes. They're like they're like girls on tiny feet. Okay. Let's just keep it with the original three. With the OGs. Oh hell yeah, I'm the psycho. Okay, so you were so it was right. Um Yeah, you have to take Fuck. so each each player moves and takes room actions to collect willpower from the board and the pool. Okay. So we put it one back. It didn't say that. It just says takes. Uh, so do I take so I took one from here and one from there, so is that correct? I'm um, yes, I'm i I'm gonna say yes. You must try to collect enough willpower tokens from the hotel locations and the willpower pool to avoid becoming possessed and attacked other and attacked by other players. The number on each token represents the willpower gained. Can we just look up YouTube videos on how to do it? So is like having high numbers good or bad? Yes, it's good. It's good. Because okay. it prevents you from being insane possessed or attacked by other players. Uh current room actions may just force you to discard will power tokens from the game or return them to the pool. Either way, tokens must be placed face down. Oh. I don't really get it, but I feel like it'll kinda of make sense if you go. Okay, and then it says the shining cards represent the horrible visions right alright. The back of each card shows a number range, such as three to five. Mm -hmm. A number in this range is printed on the front. Ah, so can oh, okay. So we so we know so like this number is in is in between two or three, which means either two or three. Yes. Right. What? Siren head? Is that you? The fuck was that? That sounded like some. A demon show. Overlook Hotel nonsense. What? I didn't hear it. Uh, do you not hear a siren? No. I swear I heard like a siren. We're gonna die, it's fine. I didn't hear anything. They didn't hear anything. <laughs> like, at all. Great. <laughs> We're just sensitive to like horror things. It's fine. Probably. It's fine. Um, but, um, the, high, the higher the number, the more traumatic the vision. Okay. I assume it's like a math battle. Statistic, yep. Statistic, yep. Or whoever has the highest number is twin. Yeah. Why it has to be math? Oh, so it's like this versus this. It's willpower versus shine. Yes. Okay, I get if it. If you're You sit on a throne of lies. Willpower total is equal to or higher than your shining total. You have fought off the horrors of the Overlook Hotel this month. How much shining music can I get away with in this video? <laughs> is the question here. Huh? The possessed has collected that means. Oh, so it's so, like I have a knife and an axe, so like I don't want to get a knife or an axe, but a bat is a I I'm dyslexic, I'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? Can you please pay attention? <laughs> if you ask, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to smack you. So See, that's we, with a plane crouch. We haven't figured it out yet, so why don't we so do it? So does someone need to be There was a whole out. fucking overview in the back. Clearly we're not just like 
we're not mentally competent to play this game. <laughs> we're almost, like, we're at the brink. Um, it just says, like, overview, and then if you want to go into depth, if you're more confused, you can go inside. Okay, Jesus. So, overview, months and rounds, first player to take turns over, and event card. Right, don't Who did it? This <laughs> play passes to the next <laughs> player. No, it does mean. <laughs> Danny, <laughs> not again. <laughs> I think we pretty Point. much. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Fine. It's like, I'm done. It's whatever. It's fine. Trash. Okay. Trash. So I went and I replenished that. I mm -hmm. put one back. So your turn. You get the key to the room. Can you have a pen? Oh shit. Is it? Why is it It's the same color. Oh, so are we already in the shining phase? I guess so. God damn. I want the knife. Card matches the color of a previously discarded event card, this will be the final rack. Well, but there are only two colors. Well, the odds of that are 50 50. It's kind of dumb. It is dumb. If the color of the new event card matches the color of a previously discarded event card, there are two colors. <laughs> there are two colors. <laughs> this will be the final rack. There are two colors, right? Yeah, it's literally just purple and green. What if it means, like, at the end of the round? Like, if the last person pulls. That's probably it. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Like, I really want to play Yeah, it. I know. I'm sorry. Am I joking? Why is it counting down instead of up? Because it gives you 30 second, 30 minute intervals. Really? Yeah, which is really stupid. This is the third event card in this run and immediately proceeds to the shining face. Well, dang, it is. If this is the third event card in the round and immediately proceeds to the shining face. Okay. So, proceed to the shining face. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is, in fact, a 35 card. How would they? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. 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 Why did you give them to me? Because I'm bad at I can't read. <laughs> you think I can? <laughs> can you read? Can, I, can you can you host? Host? Wait, what am I supposed to do? The shiny face. <laughs> can you read? <laughs> dun, 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 um, at the end of each dun, month, play dun. proceeds to the shiny face. Have you collected enough willpower to avoid being possessed? Because that's a month. That's a month tracker. Yeah. What month like, is it? I don't know. <laughs> May. <laughs> Corey Davey. <laughs> I don't know. May. Why does my voice feel like it's not mine? <laughs> <laughs> when when the third card that we pull says that this is the third card. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yay. Never mind. I don't got it. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Plastic. Wait, no. Hold on. I don't know. Let's just fucking proceed. I'm done. <laughs> Alright. It's completely giving up. <laughs> we'll, we'll, Starring we'll me. Get a dance, like. Just the dying result. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, if the will power pool is depleted. Oh, God. Um, one additional health token wants to play. Be, regardless. No. Don't touch the baby. You have Corona. <laughs> you also have Corona. <laughs> So like it says like I would roll the dice. So I'm roll. Blood splatter. So I get to choose who I want to attack. I'm tired of this. See, I told you why is the more blade something else? Because content. Content. Okay, so you lose one health token. <gasps> so give me one. Oh. And then you lose if if I had like the if I had the, if it showed the knife, I it would have given me another of your health tokens. So you're, f I guess you're fine. This is possessed, you need to kill people. This is destiny. Um, my destiny suit don't do shit. Blood ever. elevator. Choose one player to draw a shining card. You bitch. I don't think we're playing this right. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're just now figuring that out like an hour later. No, I know. I've been doing this. I'm 
I'm done. I don't want to play that. I don't want to play anymore. Hell, <laughs> it's too confusing. Listen, if anybody has this game and knows how to play it, please tell us. <laughs> I want my like hour back. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most reading I've done this whole quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to read the secret history. It was. Was it worth twenty five dollars? For the keychain? Hell yeah. Um, the key here's the thing, I still want to frame all the artwork because I think it's so nice. So like, that's what can I'm we gonna just, do. We, we need to figure out how it's played and then we can frame it. Yeah, because like all these cards are really nice. Yes. And like I want to do like a big frame of them and then same of yeet the back of this board. Because it's really nice. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow, well, anyway, comment, like, and subscribe, press the notification bell because I don't have an uploading schedule. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Edward. That's the good word. Links and merch and you know, website and all that shit's in the bio. This has been a really great dinner. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> I want some chicken nuggets.